Do you know Catherine Livesey and John Cottam? Catherine was a petite brunette, a fun-loving woman. Coming from a privileged family, she learned to read and write and liked to entertain with fine china and wines and visit friends around the English countryside in her horse and carriage. She was married to the sweet-natured chairmaker John, who was nearly a foot taller, but sadly her spendthrift ways resulted in debts and loss of a family manor. When news came of preachers with a strange religion, the Cotton family heard and believed in the LDS faith. Their sons preceded them to America and arranged for the passage of their elderly parents through the Perpetual Emigration Fund. After the Cotton settled in Utah, father and sons opened a wood shop. Oxen dragged lumber from the mountains, local blacksmith made nails, and a glue pot was always on the stove at the shop. Old friends frequently gathered there to reminisce. John witnessed the railroad enter the valley, the depot just two blocks east of his home. He and his friends enjoyed watching the incoming trains and passengers drive through. As an elderly woman, Catherine went outside on a cold winter day to help her neighbor look for a lost pig. She got wet in City Creek and chilled, which led to her death. And now you know British pioneers John and Catherine Cottam.